In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix the issue on your Windows 11 computer where some of the keys stop working on your keyboard. Now, before we start the tutorial, it's worth mentioning that there is an on-screen keyboard built into our system, and we can use this for the time being until our physical keyboard is fixed, and you can access this by coming over to the Start menu and selecting All Apps from this list, and we need to come inside of the Accessibility folder, and then just select On-Screen Keyboard. And this could come in handy if there are certain keys that you need to press or tasks that we need to perform. So you'll just need to load this keyboard up as you see fit. But for now, let's discuss how we actually fix our keyboard. So the very first thing we're going to do is head over to our start menu and you need to search for device manager and then come over to the device manager tab. Inside of this window, we need to come over to keyboards and expand this list. And inside of here, you should see your keyboard device. And we're just gonna right click on our keyboard and go ahead and press uninstall device. And then just confirm by pressing uninstall. And if that uninstalled correctly, then right now you won't be able to press or use anything on your keyboard. So to reinstall the keyboard, what we need to do is come over to action at the top here and then press scan for hardware changes. And that's gonna go ahead and reinstall our keyboard as you can see here. And once the keyboard's reinstalled, what we need to do is right click on this keyboard, come over to update driver, and then press search automatically for drivers here, just to ensure we are running the latest drivers on our device. So as you can see, I'm already running the latest drivers here, so we can close out of these windows. And the next thing we're gonna do is head over to our start menu and search for settings and then head over to the settings tab. Now from here, the first thing we need to do is come down to Windows Update and we're just gonna press this check for updates button just to ensure we are running the latest version of Windows as sometimes outdated software can cause issues with our apps and hardware. So it's just worth checking that we are fully up to date here. And then we need to head over to gaming from the left hand side here and come inside of game mode. And some people have reported that having this game mode enabled has actually been the cause of some of their keys on their keyboard not working. So I would recommend trying to disable this and seeing if this fixes the issue for you. If not, what you can do is come over to accessibility in the left hand side and we need to scroll all the way down to keyboard and come inside of here. And you just need to make sure that these sticky keys and filter keys are turned off. And then we're gonna go ahead and restart our computer for all of our changes to take effect. Now, if you've restarted your computer and some of the keys still aren't working, then this probably suggests an issue with the actual hardware itself. Now, there is a free tool that we can use to actually check this. So just head over to an internet browser and you'll need to come over to the website keyboardkeytest.com and inside of here we can press the keys on our keyboard and this is going to indicate if they're working or not. So basically what this means is if you're pressing a key and it's not working inside of here, then this usually indicates an issue with the actual hardware and you'll need to seek out a professional to get this repaired. But if the keystroke is being triggered and detected in here, then it's likely not an issue with the hardware itself. So hopefully this video helped you fix the keys not working on your keyboard. If this video did help, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.